so today we are here with another relationship video I am talking about my guy is selfish and bad okay so I was prompted to do this video not because I enjoy sex no but because I have received an outcry of emails and comments regarding this topic or something close to it uh, pretty much all year long all right so I just decided to go ahead and make this video regarding selfishness in bed. And also another reason for doing this video is because, well, these sorts of issues are like the top five reasons why uh, marriages fail and, you know, relationships are destroyed. So welcome to my channel. If you're new, I thank you so much for joining us today. And if you are one of my old love bucks, I appreciate you guys always so let's get started all right so here's the thing guys when you are dealing with a person who is selfish and bad now either they are just selfish at their own right and they're unaware that they're being selfish you know they just have sex on the brain and he just wants to come in and get it in and get it done that's it well that's quite selfish as hell even though he is unaware of it right or it could be, um, you know, well, maybe he doesn't care about you all that much to invest that much effort and time in, you know, into a sexual experience with you. Therefore, you get what you get, you know, five, maybe 10 minutes tops. Okay. And, and another way to know if you kind of fall into this category is if your person doesn't come in with any creativity, you get that whole jackrabbit type sex you know boom 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 feels like your service is gonna fall out at any minute and there isn't any passion any romance any intimacy you, you know you went all out trying to put on the sexy lingerie and look cute and then that's all you get in the end well guys listen this is where the rejection comes in so this is only going to go in your favor for a very short time. If your person is unhappy or discontent with this method <laughs> of sex, you're going to know it, you know, via attitude. And the reason that is is because most women they want to they want you to feel as though you've done something. Now, don't get it twisted. There are some that like, hey, this isn't gonna cut it. You know, you know. But for the most part, most women will continuously allow this to go on with the hopes that it's going to get better. And see, that's why I always say, if you have an issue with something in the beginning, you deal with it then. And if you can't get any resolve, well, then you just move the hell on. But when you stay in it, it just makes the person feel like you're just content or you're just going to settle for that. That's the energy you're giving. And, and it, that could be quite confusing because it's like, okay, you've been dealing with this for you know, over a year now, and now you want to have an attitude about this. You want to complain. Now I'm getting back turned and door slammed in my face whenever I make an attempt to have sex with you. So your partner is going, or yourself, whoever's watching this, you're gonna have to make that blatantly clear that, hey, I'm not being satisfied. You have to let that person know what it is that you desire, what it is that you need. Otherwise, you're going to get that act of selfishness. And, and a lot of times with, with your guy, it could be just straight ego. Like, you don't deserve anything more type of mentality. You do have those types out there. Like, you get what you get. Now turn over and go to sleep. In a sense, for me, that's kind of abusive because, you know, yeah. Um... You're not being fulfilled and it's supposed to be a relationship right so here's the thing guys or ladies <laughs> or whoever's watching this whatever you consider yourself as okay here's what um if you are in a relationship right and you're saying i love you to this person this is supposed to be your boo you know you're cozy when you guys are together well one of you is going to want to feel that Sometimes it doesn't always have to lead to straight sex. So when you make your person feel loved and you show that 
through acts of whatever display you want to perform, it comes off as love and not if you will. Okay? It won't come off as that. But when you just tap your person, come on, give me some or you know, it's an inopportune when you, uh, an inopportune time when you ask and it's like, "Come on, just give me some right." No, listen. First of all, quickies are only warranted for like a spontaneous circumstance. Both of you have 45 minutes to get to work. It takes 20 minutes for each of you to get there. What to do? Okay, five minutes. Six, okay, six minutes. Let's go. Then that's when you do that. But when if there's a time where both of you are together and you have time to actually make love, then that is what is expected of you. Your, your person wants to know that and feel that love through acts of passion. You understand? It doesn't always have to just, let's just get straight to it. Now, for some women, that may not matter as much. They may just want that as well. If that's cool with you, then that's okay. Then you shouldn't be watching this video. But however, if it is a concern that your person is so selfish that they're not acknowledging what it is that you need, well, now is the time that you sit down and you say, hey, look, I would rather have foreplay, like at least like maybe 10 or 15 minutes of foreplay before we get into it, considering it takes me some time to get worked up. It takes me some time to get that wop. You understand? It takes a little time. You know, some people may not have that issue. Some may, you know, some women may be ready. They just sit on ready all time. They're just ready to go. It doesn't matter. They can just go right into it. But if that is an issue for you that you need that sort of touch, that sort of play, um, whatever it is, well, then you address that. And you address it in a manner that to where he doesn't feel, like, embarrassed. Because remember, the ego is fragile in this department. It is very fragile. And we don't want to come off as, like, well, you're not going to satisfy me, so whatever. Okay, we don't want to do that. So, so yes, share that with them, you know. Or if you have been trying to do different things and it's still not quite working out for you, well, then just, just cuddle. Love on each other. Just lie in bed and just kiss. Hold each other. You know what I'm saying? Share the share those passionate and intimate moments. And I guarantee you by the end of doing this a couple times, if you try this a few times, you'll probably feel more fulfilled. Like emotionally. If you're looking for like that more emotional type romance connection, do that a couple times versus just getting straight to it and then it's done. You go back to watching TV or whatever and then that's it. No. But I, I guarantee you, if you could just try just cuddling with your person just for a few minutes, that's not to be that long, maybe 15, 20 minutes or whatever, just do that first and then work your way into it. You understand? Now, guys, if you are one of those people or men who have issues with stamina, endurance, prolonging the act, well, you should already know, and many of you don't, especially if you are young and you're not privy <laughs> to what it's like to you know to be sexually connected you know with intercourse if you feel like you are ready to see fireworks stop stop and do other things there are many other things that you can try and you know what I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about perhaps oral or or, or maybe you can allow her to do some things. You can give a massage just to hinder that process. Stop it. Just slow it down. And then after a few minutes, you come back. And if you feel like she still isn't quite where she wants to be, or she's not matching you, because see, guys, you're selfish. You'll see fireworks long before she does. And now she's still saying that, oh, okay, I'm good. Okay, no, no, it was good, I'm good. And she's not going to tell you that you had like another 30 minutes worth of work to do and you failed yet again just notice her energy notice if she still needs a little more and then you try to prolong that process and see i think that's an issue with most guys um you know you're so quick to try to get there but you're not noticing that she's not quite there that she's gonna need a little more and a lot of women have a, you know they have quite 
quite a lot of stamina and they can go they can just go for a long time so you want to try to match that for as long as you can or pleasure her to the point to where she's not totally deprived you understand because at the end of it all when she begins to reject you and you begin to feel deprived more so than likely she was already being deprived and just wasn't addressing it okay so yeah so you you really want to do that um just experiment come up with more creative ideas to make your love sessions longer you know even if you have to stop for stop and just talk for a few minutes and caress touch enjoy the moment and then go back into it you understand this way both of you get some sort of fulfillment i mean that is that is the objective, right? <laughs> it's to get fulfillment. Yeah. But hey, yeah, at the end of the day, most women are significantly deprived. And that happens for so long till they get to the point to where they just begin to reject you. You may not have done anything wrong besides just pull out two songs. And then that's like, it's a buzzkill. It, it, it's a turnoff. It really is a turn off, especially if your person was very sexual when you met them and they probably still are and just dying to be satisfied, yet you can't please them. That's where that rejection comes in. Okay. So, um, yeah, hopefully this was somewhat insightful and helpful for you guys. Just try your hardest if you really care for someone to not show that selfish side that you just want to just dive in and get right to it as though they're just like some sort of you know, tool. We don't want to do that. You can do, you can do that with your hand in the shower. Okay. No, real talk. You can. Don't waste anybody's time if you're not gonna go the distance to make them feel what it is that you're trying to achieve. Okay. All right, my love. That is all for now. I thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.